So hi, this is the second video of the first lesson of the second integration to <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Right, so randomly, if I wanted to integrate sine squared x dx or integrate cos squared x dx, I'd use my cos 2x formulas, I'd replace it. Now, I don't think we've actually done any of those yet. But with this one, I'm actually going to go backwards. I'm going to replace the cos 2x. I'm going to make it in terms of cos squared to make it overall in terms of secant. So then I'm integrating it to a tan. So, you know, bear with me with that one. It's a bit full on. So I know that cos 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x. Now I know I want to change it into tan, so I want to integrate to tan, so I want to change it into a secant squared. So I want it divided by a cos squared. So if I replace the sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, I'm going to use 2 cos squared x minus 1. So my integral will become 6 over 2 cos squared x minus 1 with a plus 1 dx. The 1s will go, the 3, 6 will cancel with the 2. So I've got 3 over cos squared x dx. Cos squared, 1 over cos squared is secant squared. If I integrate secant squared, it goes back to 10. Now that's pretty full on, that one. I think you'd be hard pushed to spot that. They'd have to give you something to help you do that. That's just too hard. Right, let's have a look at this one then. Oh, bit of partial fractions. Right, so I've got to do the partial fractions first on its own. So I'm going to look at this bit here for the partial fractions. So the 7x plus 3 over x plus 1 3x minus 1, each one gets its own fraction. Multiply through by the common denominator, or say to yourself, what's missing off the bottom? So A is missing a 3x minus 1, and B is missing an x plus 1. Use the values that get rid of the brackets. So if I use x is minus 1, That'll give me minus 4 on the left is minus 4a. The b disappears, so 1 is a. Uh, for this one, for the 3x minus 1, if you're not sure, so let me change colour. If you're not sure what to use for this, then think 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. You want to make that bracket equal to 0. So I'll take the 1 over and divide through. So that tells me I'd want to use x as a third. So if you're not sure, just somewhere, put it equal to zero and work it out. So what we've got, x is a third. So if I sub in x is a third, I've got 7 over 3 plus 3. So that's going to be 7 over 3 plus 9 over 3 is 16 over 3. It gets rid of the a bracket, but it keeps the b bracket, which is a third plus 1, which is 4 thirds of a. The threes cancel, the four cancels with the 16, I get four for a. So I'm saying that my 7x plus 3 over x plus 1, 3x minus 1, is the same as, but I've left a gap, be careful, I've left a gap there. 4 over x plus 1 plus 1, I've got that right way around. Hang on, well, we've got A there twice. You donkey. That's going to be a B. A B. Oh, I don't know this is what I'm not making any mistakes. I think you're probably quite shocked at the fact I haven't made any mistakes. Let's make sure that that's obvious. Look, I've changed that into a B. That's a B. So that's a 1. And that's a 4. Sorry about that. Oh, I've never so well. And then a 3x minus 1. There. So what I'm doing, those partial fractions, I'm now going to integrate them. 
So the first one is a log. If I differentiate the bottom, it is the top. What I've got is a 1. What I want is a 1. So it's just the log of x plus 1. I'm going to use a square, uh, a modulus bracket, be all technical. With the other one, if I differentiate the bottom, it's a multiple of the top. So what I've got is a 4. What I want is a 3. And then it's log of whatever's on the bottom. Plus C. There. There we go. And that's it for that one. There's a question for you, which is really nice to do. Because who doesn't like a bit of? There's a question for you if the button works. There. But well, that is it's going to be an a over 2x plus 1. It's going to be a b over x plus 1. And then it's going to be a c over x plus 1 squared, because it's repeated linear. Let's have a look, see what they've done. There. So they've worked it all out with the repeated linear, got the values, and then integrated them. So I would see that as what have you got as a 4? What do you want as a 2? What have you got is a 5? What you want is a 1. And then the other one isn't a log because it's not. So that's not a log. Because if you differentiate the bottom, it isn't the top. I'd maybe have that written as 3 over x plus 1. There. There you go. Change the colour. Right, what are we on? Six minutes. So do I do these top heavy ones? Wowzers. And I don't like the way these are done. So I might show you two different ways. Which means I could do to stop the video and show you. Thank you.